What is up, and it's going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to my, another episode of my FIFA 13 Manchester City career mode, to be precise, episode 13. So let's get straight right into it. In the last episode, if you didn't catch it, it'll be in the link in the description below, we won uh, the Community Shield match against uh, Tottenham, 2-0, and uh, even Cristiano Ronaldo scored on his debut, which is awesome. Well, obviously we signed him, if you didn't really know that, well, that would have been a big shock if you watched this episode, not the other one. <laughs> anyway, we got a match against Swansea. Uh, we got, I thought, just because it's, well, Sinnings, obviously I have a better team than Swansea because just evidently higher rated, a uh, higher star rated, just better in general stats wise. So anyway, it was our first match of the season. I thought, why not? Let's have a crack at it. And it was a really quiet game. I find that I know Zerka uh, always goes on about this, and I kind of, I kind of find it kind of true. When you're playing against the harder teams, it's actually easier because they're pushing up forward and uh, they're giving all their better strikers opportunities up forward, and they're not really focusing too much on their defense and um, defend the it, the. It, uh, <laughs> A bit of a stutter there. Um, I really need to talk about this now. I'm really sorry, but I've come to the realization that I can't stay at this full club, and I want to be transferred. And when I saw that, I felt sick. <laughs> I've done this career mode because I wanted to have Ronaldo and Messi in the same team, and we could be losing Messi because he wants to leave. So that means we've only played with him for one match. Now Yaya Toure is getting old. He's about 30 years old. He's a really good player, but um. I think it's time for him to go, and ended up signing Ozil in his place. Even though Ozil is more of an attacking player, uh, seeing how amazing my team is, I don't. I've got Fellaini. I'm. I can guess Ozil can kind of push up. He's not really defensively minded, but because I got an amazing team, uh, it, I should be all right with it. Now I got a, I got a offer from Real Madrid for 156 million. Now I thought, well. Right, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send a trade off there for 225 million. That's what I'll leave Messi for. I'll be content with that. Now, to be honest, I don't really care about the money, to be honest, but um yeah, there we go. Please ensure you accept one of the bids we are likely to receive. So that's you're gonna have to see how that develops. So as I was saying, uh versing the easier teams. Now Real Madrid came back and they said no. And uh, as I was saying, so we've got this messy saga going on here. As I was saying, the the uh, surprisingly, the uh, what's it called? The lower rated teams are harder to play because they play defensively minded. So here we go. When I was doing this transfer, uh, the transfer deadline day, every time I pressed that button, I thought, oh no, it's going to come up and say messy. Messi, uh, Messi's been transferred. I put, I sent Nagas, Nagatich, Nagasic on the loan to, uh, to, uh, QPR. Now, thank God, Messi didn't end up going anywhere, which is absolutely on awesome. The only really contenders that could have really afforded Messi were Barcelona, Real Madrid, or PSG. Seeing as I'm Manchester City, I'm the richest club in the world. Uh... Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm already got him, so that's a bit obvious. Anyway, we have a Champions Cup against Sporting now. I kind of felt like playing this because, especially Cristiano Ronaldo used to play for Sporting, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, do that. And it's a Champions Cup. It's our first Champions, uh, our first game in the Champions Cup, so we can get a solid lead. And unfortunately, Fellaini, <laughs> as I was saying, I uh, kind of jinxed myself. Even uh, talking about how Ozil is a good centre defensive mid, and I probably don't really need another one, but Flaney ends up getting sent off. But nevertheless, Aguero's running through sends an absolute howl. I don't. I, the sporting goalkeeper only just got a hand to that. I do believe Messi on the ball, and uh, with an outstanding shot on his left foot, the goalkeeper parries into the bottom left. So then Messi's on the scoreboard. So Ronaldo and Messi have scored. Now I'm playing on world class. I might even up the difficulty to legendary, but. Legendary is just just ridiculous. No matter what team you play with, even the best team in the world, if you come up with a team, come, a, come, bleh, come across a team like Manchester United or one of the top rated teams, they will spank you. And I it's it's kind of the it's kind of the jump from professional to world class. That's a massive jump as well, which is really quite strange, but it's even a bigger jump from world class to legendary. So we ended up winning that match 2-1. Now Sporting surprisingly got on score there. And I brought on Balotelli to give me a little bit of I don't know, mojo. I guess we had a match against Wigan now. Most of these games I am not going to play simply because 
I'm a five star team coming against lower rated teams and there's just a waste of time. Seeing that we smashed five we smashed Wigan five now, Cristiano Nota scored two. And we had a Capital One Cup match against Middlesbrough winning three 0 Nazri Ozil and Javi Garcia got on the ball. So that's basically how that ended up. We had a match against West Ham, Azil, 2 0. Balotelli came on score and Contini came on and didn't do much to be honest. But Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy this episode, guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, just before I leave, you have a match against Salzburg. Uh, they're an Austrian, Austrian team, I do believe. We ended up winning that match 2-0. David Silva and Cristiano Ronaldo got on the score sheets. Now I'm going to leave you guys. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy this episode, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This has been SimC. I'm out. Les, my friends. Hey, guys, just before I leave you, could I please ask you to follow me on Twitter? It's the best way to interact with me. I respond to every single tweet I get. On that, you'll be able to see when I've posted a video, uh, giveaways coming up, and also when I'm playing subscribers. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to me to get the most recent and up-to-date content on my channel. So thanks, guys. Bye.